I never played the first Destiny. It was a PS3 exclusive, and I am primarily a PC gamer. That doesn't mean I don't like console games, but when it comes to FPS games, nothing beats using a mouse and keyboard. I remember the hype surrounding Destiny when it was first announced. Bungie is best known for the Halo franchise. After three games in the series, they wanted to move on to other things, but Microsoft wanted to continue milking that cash cow. So the franchise went to 343 Industries, and Bungie left to pursue something entirely new. Their decision to team up with Activision made people worried, and rightly so. They didn't have the best of reputations, even back then. Remember, this was before the whole thing going on with Blizzard, and before the whole thing blew up with Battlefront 2. Destiny sold well, but the overall opinion of many gamers was meh. Destiny 2 would address what gamers didn't like about the first game, but it would bring with it all new problems, most of which were likely Activision's doing. Something happened behind the scenes. Either Activision wasn't getting what they wanted out of Destiny 2, or Bungie had enough. Maybe it was a little bit of both. Activision did something I found surprising. Usually when publishers let go of a company, they often end up keeping the rights to the franchise, or partial rights. Especially if it's a high-profile game. Yet they let Bungie keep Destiny 2. Now Destiny 2 is on Steam, and it's free to play. You get the base game and the first two expansions, Curse of Osiris and Warmind. I spent about two hours playing the game yesterday, and I like it. Destiny 2's UI keeps the same design DNA of the first game, which heavily influenced No Man's Sky right down to the blocky item grid inventory screen and the hold to interact buttons. The shooting is more Unreal Tournament than Call of Duty. If you're into FPS realism, this is not the game for you. There's some serious bullet sponginess going on occasionally, but nowhere as bad as in The Division or the Borderlands franchise, especially Borderlands 2. Border sponges for days! I'm playing a Warlock, by the way. As a Borderlands and Warframe fan, I'm familiar with looter shooters. In the short time I played the game, I found several new weapons of all three types, and several new kinds of armor pieces. I'm told getting over the 750 power level hump is a steep climb, but I'm almost 800 now, and that was after playing missions accessible in the various open world areas of the EDZ. I haven't even played the main scenario yet. I did look at the Eververse, the primary source for all of the game's controversy. Good god, I sound like Jim Sterling. So far, I haven't seen so much as a single loot box. I think those are gone, but I could be wrong. I haven't seen anything that is pay to win, either. Everything seems to be cosmetic items. Just playing the game, I earned 800 Bright Dust, and used that to get a shader for my armor and a new shell for my ghost. Glimmer, the stuff runs like water from a tap. Everything drops it. You blow a fart, you get a bar of glimmer. Silver seems to be the chief currency for the microtransactions. It looks like Bungie gave RNGesus the boot, so now you can just buy what you want. The visuals are on par with Warframe, maybe a little better. They are using an engine called Tiger, a totally in-house built engine that is an evolution of what they used to make the Halo games. It runs rather well on my potato, with um, pretty high frame rates. I do have to run it in full screen borderless mode though, for OBS to pick it up. 
Should you try this game? I say go for it. With the base game and two expansions free, you've got plenty of game there. And if you like it, then you can get the other two expansions. If you've already played the game on Battle.net, Bungie made it easy to move your stuff over. But be warned, only your primary character will get transferred. I'm going to continue playing this uh, in between the alpha I'm participating in right now, which I can't talk about because of an NDA. Rest assured, once that is lifted, I'll be talking about that. Until then, I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Some Zort Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zort Central colon E.